Assalamu alaikum. How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It's math class, and today we're going to continue the lesson that we have started yesterday about time to the quarter hour. So, before talking about the lesson of today, let's read the day and date together. So, what's the day? Thursday. And what's the date? May 14, 2020. So everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use a clock to tell time to the quarter hour. Okay, so when I say quarter, what is the first thing that will come to your mind? I'm gonna draw something over here. Okay, I'm gonna draw a circle everyone. And if I will cut the circle or divide the circle into four parts, each part I call it Quarter. So how many quarters do we have? Four. One, two, three, four quarters. And here I'm gonna divide the circle into two quarters. No, not quarters. Th these are quarters. But here these are half. Halves. Excellent. So we have two halves. Okay. Here two halves and here four Quarters. So you need to put this in your mind because it will it will help you to read the time to the half hour and also time to the quarter hour. Mental math time. The question of today is super easy. So let's read it together. Take two suns away. How many are left? Okay, so let's take two away. Mm, it means what we are going to do? We are gonna minus. Minus, so or how many? Sub or yeah. subtract. Well done. So, how many suns do we have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six minus two. Six minus two. So, we're gonna take two away so how many left let's count how many are left sorry one two three four so, so the answer four. is four well done and here we go there are two videos here about time to the quarter hour i want you to watch the videos listen carefully everyone okay everyone now i need your help to Say, how many minutes do we have in one hour? 60 minutes. We have 60 minutes, okay? So let's start, everyone. Okay, do you see the analog clock? We're going to write the minutes over here. Okay, so we're going to skip count by... Five. Five, so let's start. Five. Let me change the color. Let me go to brown color. So... Let's, okay, let's say five, and then ten, ten, add Fif five more, fifteen, fifteen. excellent, twenty, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-five, thirty, okay, Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty. Forty-five. Excellent. Fifty. Fifty-five. And finally, sixty. So, the long hand is for the minutes and the short one is for the hour. hours. So everyone, every time the long hand, you know, move from number to number, five, five minutes, minutes pass or five minutes will be counted, okay? So if the long hand will move from 12 to number one in the... 
Okay, how many minutes we're gonna count? Five. Five minutes and so on. You're gonna add five minutes more every time the long hand will move around the clock. So I want you to look at these analog clocks and try to read the time. Okay, so I told you before that when we read the time we need to look at the short short hand first right you need to look at the short hand first and then you look at the long one remember the short one is for the hour hour and the long one is for the minute excellent so everyone i want you to look over here so look at the short one what time is it one one so we're gonna write one okay one o'clock now look at the long one okay when the long one starts from the beginning we're gonna write zero minutes so we're gonna write here zero minutes now look over here okay and as you can see there is a quarter do you see the quarter everyone is it clear yeah yeah this is a quarter so we can say that or let's read the time and look at the short one so let's look at the short one first so it's between one and two right but it's not two yet it's coming from number one so we're gonna write it's one Okay, it's one fifteen. It's one fifteen, see? It's one fifteen. We're talking about minutes. Here is the hour and here is the minute. So I want you to look at the minutes. Okay, so it's one fifteen. And we can say quarter past one. We can say quarter past one. one okay i want you to look over here is it a quarter or half half so we're gonna say half past one one so it means the time is one thirty one thirty so why did you say one not two because when i looked i saw from the clock that the long um yeah the the long hand points the long to the hand points to the number six. So and six, it's counting minutes. So it's one thirty. Because everyone, as you can see over here, uh, the short hand is between one and two. It's coming from one, but it's not two yet. It's not two yet. It's on the way to be two, but it's not two yet. That's why we're gonna write it's one thirty. So it's half past one. Let's move to the last one. Okay. So look at the short one first. The short one is between one, one and, and two. two. But is it two? No. It's not two yet, right? It's one, right? So one. Okay. And now look at the long one. How many minutes, everyone, you can? See it over here. How many minutes? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And it's also a quarter until 2. So we'll call it quarter till 2. So it's quarter till 2. We can say it quarter. See, one quarter left. Okay. And the time will be 2, two o'clock. So let's read the problem of the day. Mia is at school. School is over at... 315 she has three more hours to wait what time is it now so what you need to do is to understand plan and solve these the steps we follow when we have a problem so everyone you can use the analog clock okay so here's my analog clock I can draw it it will help me to answer or find the answer so let's put the numbers over here 12 
one, two, three. Uh oh, two is over here. Two, three. Move it. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is already written. So now we just need to draw the hands. Okay, so everyone, here is my analog clock. So let me say that Maya at school or Maya, yeah, Maya is at school. School is over at 3.15, okay? So the school will be over at 3.15. Okay, 3.15, okay? So she has three more hours to wait. What the time is it now? We're gonna count backward, backward. backward. So one, two, two three. Three. So, so what it's time? Twelve. Twelve fifteen. So it was. So the answer is twelve fifteen. Okay. So we're gonna count three hours backward, backward. So everyone, I want you to get your math book and open page 616, okay? And let's read the question together. Please write the day and date. Don't forget to do this. So King goes to his friend's house at 2.15. Circle the clock that shows this time. I'm going to keep it for you, okay? Think about it, everyone. So what is the answer? Think about it. Which clock shows 2.15? This one. Okay, excellent. 2.15. While this clock shows 3.10. Excellent. And here, clear a circle. So everyone, circle the clock that shows an example of quarter hour. Is it 12.15 or 7.35? 12.15. 12.15, everyone. Uh-oh. And if you go back to this slide, this slide will help you to check your answer. See? If we stop here, it means 15 or if the long one or the minute hand stopped here it means it is 1 15 okay remember this everyone so we are done have a nice week and and bye everyone